Hey, 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 good morning, everyone. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, your friendly neighborhood chart nerd. And this is the morning market preparation video for July 10th, 2019. Hey, I hope everyone had a great evening yesterday. Um, hope you had a great day of trading. Let's take a look at what's going on for the market today, though. Um, we're looking at, <clears throat> well, kind of an interesting day today. Uh, first, we have uh, uh, Jerome Powell. He's going to be walking a tightrope, kind of tr really trying to bridge the concerns between Washington, D.C. and Wall Street. So um, it's going to be a slippery tightrope <laughs> for him to walk today. It'll be interesting to see how that comes out. So we probably should expect some volatility around that testimony um, as he talks, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But let's take a look at the markets. What are the markets doing? Well, yesterday we had a, a gap down morning, but a real nice recovery during the day. So you can see we rally back up here pretty nicely here in the diamonds. And if we pull that back, notice that we kind of stopped that rally right here on a known resistance level in the chart. So just pushed down and pushed right back up in that chart. So, so far we're holding up pretty well. And, and my idea that we could be kind of in a consolidation zone for this week, um, at least at this point, seems to be playing out pretty well. Just kind of tossing around in here as we wait for all of this uncertainty to maybe be cleared up. I, I doubt that there's going to be a whole lot of certainty cleared up by Jerome Powell. Um, the FOMC minutes coming out uh, this afternoon and then um, earnings season getting ready to kick off next week. So lots of things that the market are tr is trying to deal with and um, we'll have to kind of keep an eye on uh, this market. So watch this closely. Now, right now we're continuing to maintain all the bullish signs in this diamonds trend. Everything is staying up as a matter of fact. You know, if I were, if there wasn't so much going on today, I would have an awful lot of confidence in this pattern right here to uh, just start buying long. And you may be able to do that, but just consider that today there could be a considerable amount of volatility around the Powell testimony so keep that in mind as you're planning your risk forward. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY did another, uh, you know, just a great job um, yesterday, rallying back up after that morning gap down, just as we're waiting on uh, this Fed speak. And as you can see, we've got a really nice uh, pattern in here where we've moved up, consolidated, move up, higher low, move up, possibility of a higher low here and that bullish sign to the upside. So it really is going to come down to what Powell has to say and how much volatility there might be in his statements, how this might play out. But I still, um, I am favoring the idea that we may just kind of chop around here um, as we wait. Unless he gives us some clarity, which I would really be surprised if, that he uh, does. And matter of fact, I think he's probably going to work pretty hard to continue to keep us in the dark um, about what the future action of the Fed is going to be. So l expect a little bit of bouncing around in there yet to continue. Let's, and by the way, is even if we pull back, we have good support levels here in the chart. So even if we do get a little bit of pulling back in that chart, I don't think I would be terribly worried about that at all. And I placed um, up here that 3000 mark um, as kind of a resistance up here in the chart. That's that big round number um, that markets like to seek out. So if those bulls do get inspired here by something Powell says, um, watch for that 3000 level to maybe be a sticking point um, in the market. Let's take a look at the queues. Now the queues, we had a, a surprising rush into um, tech yesterday. Um, and, and actually quite surprising um, considering all of the challenges that tech faces in the coming earnings season and so many companies putting out 
um, warnings that they're not going to hit analyst estimates. But that's what happened yesterday. We had that big push in here um, looking for that bullishness in the NASDAQ. And there's that all-time high resistance point right there. So we're very, very close to maybe pushing on through there. Certainly looks like a possibility. Now, if the Powell speech is considered dovish, we could see that pop right on through. If Powell's testimony happens to come off a little bit too hawkish, we could see that pull back. But I don't think I'd be too worried about a pullback right here. We're still in a very nice trend, holding up strongly. And we have good layers of support in here before we really start to break down uh, this market. So looking pretty good here on the queues. If we take a look at IWM, however, IWM still is a concern for me because overall IWM is still in this longer term downtrend. It's struggling um, to break above that. Just can't seem to get her done. Um, at least at the moment. We've tried a couple of times <clears throat> excuse me, tried a couple of times over there, but just weren't quite able to find the energy to pop on through. However, we're still holding this current uptrend. So we still have that opportunity to maybe see that push through that resistance level. Keep in mind that this level right in here is a pretty good solid level of support. And that's where we found support right in here um, yesterday and held on right in that area. So um, could go either way here on IWM. Let's take a look at the VIX. <clears throat> now the VIX, you guys know I've been talking about, this thing has been a little bit perplexing to me. Um, just not getting the kind of movement we would typically see in the VIX. But right now, as you can see, we have this downtrend in play and we're holding support levels in this chart. This is acting as a resistance level now in the chart. And right now we're not seeing any really real growing fear here in the market. And as we push these new highs in the market and continue to press this up, it makes me wonder if we're reaching a bit of complacency in the market. So I'm watching this pretty closely, but right now I don't want anybody to believe that there's a whole lot of fear in the market or that we're in danger of an imminent collapse or anything like that because we're not seeing that in the sentiment of traders. There's just no fear right now in this market of a downside move. Let's take a look at T21.22. It's that four week new high, new low ratio. If you take a look at this ratio, we did get a nice little pullback in that yesterday. <clears throat> that helps us out here a little bit for potential upside. Now, as you can see, if you pull this back, this indicator is so unbelievably consistent. It's it's truly remarkable. We get up here in, in this zone up here, and we're looking for that bearish reversal um, zone to come into play, where we're just stretching that rubber band a little bit too, too tight to the upside, and then we get that pullback. Same thing is true down here. We drift all the way down into here, and we get that bullish reversal area down in here and it's very very consistent how this indicator works so if you take a look at where we are we're not getting that directional um, idea here today and the reason i say that is we've pulled back enough what a t21 is telling us at this point is we do have upside opportunity but we have still have a bigger downside opportunity. So kind of keep that in mind. The, the bulls are in control. They're wanting to hold that control very strongly. But I would not rule out um, a pretty good dose of volatility today, um, considering the Powell uh, testimony and then the FOMC minutes coming out at 2 p.m. Eastern today. So we could see a little bit of back and forth um, and a little bit of volatility. So be really careful how you plan your day forward here today. Let's take, um, take a look at that economic calendar since we've been talking about it so much. Take a quick look here and see what we have going on. Notice that we don't have any real market movers in the, um, here uh, except for the Jerome Powell speech and then um, the FOMC. We do have the EMA 
uh, EIA petroleum status report. And we know that that can certainly move the market around a little bit, affecting those oil companies. But this is the this is the big deal of the day. And everyone's going to be hanging, the world is going to be hanging on um, each and every word that he utters, whether he um, uh, comes off as hawkish or comes off as dovish, that will be um, how the market reacts. And we could react to, to one statement bullishly and react to the next statement bearishly. So kind of keep that in mind as you plan your day forward, be a little bit careful about rushing um, into trades today because he, he could, it's hard to know what's going to happen here um, as he begins that testimony. So kind of keep that in mind. And then, oh, by the way, we do have another Fed speaker later on today at 1.30. James Bullard is also speaking. So lots of Fed, lots of Fed discussions today, lots of Fed talk. Let's see, um, from here, let's talk about, um, well, first, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, would you please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube? You know, um, clicking that subscribe button and then there's a pop-up window that comes up and click that bell icon so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. Um, you know, I, I am so incredibly grateful to the folks who watch the videos here and the kind comments that everyone leaves. I truly, truly appreciate that. And it's it's those thumbs up buttons when you click those thumbs up buttons and leave those comments that help this channel to grow. So I owe my growth to you. I do my very best to put out good quality content without prediction, without hype. It's it's all meant to just focus people in on the important aspects of the day and how you might want to approach the market for that day. And I know this has been incredibly helpful to me over my trading career, um, now about 15 years as a full-time trader. Um, and hopefully you're finding this helpful to you. And if you are, please also consider sharing this video um, with your friends and family. You know, um, share it on YouTube, share it on Twitter, whatever social outlet um, you use, and, and feel free to do that. It's available for everyone. And thank you to those who take the time to uh, click that thumbs up button and leave a comment. It, it means the world to me. Thank you very much, guys. So let's take a look at some trades that could be setting up. And there are a lot of potential trades right now that could be setting up some really, really good charts to be paying attention to. Take a look at when casinos, when um, setting up that possible consolidation. There's this, I call this a pop out of the box pattern. And that pop out of the box pattern is really nothing fancy. Uh, it's just a very tight consolidation where there's no buyers above, no sellers below. And we are in a current trend. So as we chop this sideways over toward the trend, I'm always watching this closely for that potential of that next buy signal that pops us up out of there and maybe moves, moves us right on up in this trend. And that's that pop out of the box pattern. And I, I teach this pattern a lot and I'll show this pattern over and over and over in charts and it just plain works. So um, we have that nice little pattern setting up here on Win Casinos. Nice little consolidation move in a current uptrend. You can see um, any pink line that you see on here at one time was an alert on the chart or is an alert on the chart. And you can see I'm alerting on this if we break up above here. Now I do have to make uh, note that there is still resistance above in this chart that I have to consider, but I will always favor the current trend um, and follow that trend to the upside. So keep an eye on when casinos, Texas Instruments, TXN, I brought this up to everyone yesterday in Rightway Options intraday. I know a lot of folks actually took this trade um, um, early on yesterday. And I think this is looking really, really good. We've got this really nice upside move. We've pulled back to test this price support here and test trend. Whenever I get that bullish signal that comes in on a trade right there at that confluence of support and trend, usually a pretty good signal uh, for a potential trade. Now, as I say that, I want to make sure and remind everyone that 
any one of these charts that I show is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security at all. This is something to watch and for your evaluation. This trade may not be for you. You've got to decide whether this is the right trade for your portfolio, for your type of trading. Um, I will just say I really like this pattern, a beautiful potential setup. And um, of course, we do have resistance up here. If you're a stock trader, this just may not be enough move for you to want to make this as a stock trader. But as an option trader, um, great, great opportunity possibly showing up here in TXN. So very nice looking chart. And just to kind of show you that pop out of the box pattern and how that pattern does work, here's a, an example of uh, McDonald's here where we had this really tight box, that nice little tight consolidation. And as we move over to the trend, we're looking for those entry signals into that trend. You could have easily entered maybe here or here, held that price support, and then on up we go. And you can see McDonald's could be setting up that same pattern again, right in this area. So keep an eye on that chart. Nice little potential setup going on here. How about TPX? TPX, there's that tight consolidation again. We've moved back up here to this resistance point and there's that little pop out of the box pattern starting to form. We're seeing those bulls start to hold up at this trend and you can see it's just a beautiful trend just continuing to move up. So we want to watch this for that potential signal to maybe catch that trade, move on up, low risk entry on that trade. Hopefully we see TPX continue to follow through to the upside. A little bit different pattern would be a pattern that we call, this is a pop out of the box pattern within a rounded bottom breakout pattern. Now that rounded bottom breakout pattern is a very, uh, gr uh, it's just a great pattern to trade. And that's um, where we've been very oversold in the stock. Stock's just been pounded down and pounded down and pounded down. And then we start to turn back up. And what I want you to notice more than anything is our moving averages are starting to round over. Even that 50 day moving average is starting to round itself up. So as we deal with this price resistance here in the chart, we're creating that pop out of the box pattern, that nice little tight consolidation moving over toward its trend. And we're waiting for this chart to maybe set itself up for that upside move. So don't, don't be too surprised if this has to continue to con consolidate in here, but we're watching and waiting for that potential move to the upside. And um, this is one of those great uh, patterns that um, you might wanna pay attention to. Could be uh, just the chart you're looking for um, on that nice swing trade. So um, watch that closely. Take a look at BBY. BBY is also forming up in that same kind of way. Nice move up, consolidating sideways here. Um, respecting this resistance in the chart. So as this consolidates over the trend, I would be watching that for that potential move higher. A, a trade that um, I have been mentioning over and over and over um, that was in that kind of pattern had a little uh, but junk that it had to deal with here um, is now popping on through a significant level of resistance here in AIG. AIG insurance companies right now have been holding up really, really well and, and doing very nicely um, overall as a group. And you can see AIG just moving right on up here, looking really good yesterday, popping on through uh, that resistance area up here and showing some signs of strength. So you might want to put AIG on your list and maybe keep an eye on that chart. Um, there's so many, so many stocks right now showing great signs, great potential. Um, and um, it, it's hard to determine um, which one um, is the best one to take. And if you run into that situation, um, I want to remind everybody that, um, there's always more trades than, than we have money to trade. So what we have to do is do a good full evaluation of each position, each stock, considering the risk and the potential reward in each trade. Keep in mind that I never make a trade until I have planned that position. I know my risk in the trade. I know where my targets are in the trade. I know what I'm intending to do. And after I enter that trade, I'm just running my plan. So consider that. Don't just blindly jump into trades. Make sure you have a fully thought out plan because that helps you avoid the emotion that 
probably, well, is one of the most common things I run into when I'm working with individuals and coaching them and in their trading. It's that emotion that's getting to them most of the time. So kind of keep that in mind, plan those trades carefully and consider carefully how you want to approach the market for the day. And that's what this video is all about. How are we going to approach the market for today, considering all the aspects that we have to deal with today, considering the possibility of some extreme volatility around the Powell speech. So kind of keep that in mind as you look at these trades. Now, here's another one of those rounded bottom breakout patterns, and you can see WBA holding up very, very well, trying to consolidate this move right out over here. I would look for this to maybe put, produce a signal here before too long as it moves over toward its trend. And we're dealing with this price resistance here. So watch this little consolidation maybe start to form up. And then we have this open gap in here that could be filled uh, fairly quickly, make some nice money in that trade. So keep an eye on ch these charts and add them to your list. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And remember, do me a favor and click that subscribe button. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave that brief comment. You guys, um, thank you so much to everyone who does do that. I want to encourage everyone, if you're struggling, to not give up on your trading dream. You know, get some help. Get some support. Find that trading partner that can maybe help move you along. Get some accountability to your trading. And remember, trading is a business. You need to treat it as such. All right. Everyone have a great day. We'll talk to you all bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one.